It ran from a range of 2 to a range of 0.9 and I am amazed. Hello, welcome back to Scratch 3D Printing. I would like to talk about the K1 series, specifically my K1 Max. So the previous video, I say that all the routing fix, all the bed leveling and stuff like that. Well, not completely true because one day after I posted that video, my K1 Max started acting up. I couldn't get the first layer to print at all. Um, it keeps lifting off. It's not sticking to the bed at all. But I found a really good method that actually fixed that. And you can do tweaks on your K1 Max and have a really good leveling. Even if the mesh is like this or like this, it doesn't really matter. Your K1 Max will still print precisely well. It involves skipping the teeth, but it's not like everybody else do. I figured out a way to skip a teeth without putting your printer on the side, taking off the bottom panel, and then unscrew the belt. You don't have to unscrew the belt and twist the motor by hand to make the tooth skip. You can actually do it while the printer is on and all the motors are locked in. I'll show you how. Okay, so this is my current bed mesh for the K1 Max. I have been reading this map a little while now and I and I think I know which side is, is which side. So default it will look like this. But turn it this way. And this point right here is the lead screw for this. And this lead screw is this point right here. So it will look like this. And I keep thinking that this point over here is the right lead screw. And this is the left lead screw. But no, that's not it. It's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be turned like this. This is the right lead screw, left lead screw, and back here is the lead screw at the back. And if you see, and if you look at that, my bed is very bad. It's not, it's not the best. And the range right there is 0.9, 0 0.9. I'll show you how you can skip the teeth and make your bed level good. Okay, so as of right now, I just turn the printer on, and if you can see this, I can move the head very easily right and i can move the bed too if i push if i give a little force i can push the bed down but that's not what you want to do because all of the motors are free that's why i can move this with ease so what you want to do first is home your printer a couple of ways you can do is you can do it on the interface right here move and temp you click home here and home here and it will home everything or if you rooted your printer you can just click home all on fluid and it will just home everything so let's just do it on the screen here that home the x and y time to home the z the bed okay so everything has been home the bed and the nozzle has been home i cannot push the head at all just a sound you can tell that the motors are engaged so at this point if you rooted your printer and you do the bed leveling you will be able to see your bed mesh and for those of you that have unrooted printer i'll show you how you can get access to your bed mesh like this so you just open up any browser google chrome firefox anything microsoft edge you just you just need to open any browser and put in your printer's ip address you can find your printer's ip address by going to setting on your touch screen then click on network and you will see your printer's ip address right in the printer itself okay i'll be putting the printer's ip address right into the browser it's this one so you just do that now you can see your printer's interface right here so at this point you just scroll down and there is your bed mesh also you cannot see your bed mesh on creality print okay i lower my bed a little bit so that i can have some room to work with now if you look at the two front lead screw you can see at the bottom there you can see this bottom part right here. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Just keep doing it. Until you see these two tiny screws that are in a way that you can move them. Now, you take your allen wrench that comes with the printer. And I believe it's the second smallest one right here. So, what you do now is you find these two screws, right? And then... You put your allen wrench in the screw and now you can actually move your lead screw pretty easily. You should see in the, if you see that, I can move it pretty easily. If you try to hand move it, you can't do that. So that's why people keep saying that you need to tilt your printer over, take off the bottom panel, untension the belt, and then you can do it by hand. But this method, you don't have to do that. And I watched a couple of videos 
when they do that, they twist this up or down. There's like a clunking sound, like a clunk, like that. And then that's giving one teeth. But this method, you can do that easily without taking anything off. You just put your end wrench here and then just twist whichever way you want to. So if you twist it to the right like this, it's gonna go down. Twist it to the left, it's gonna go up. You just twist, keep doing that till you hear a clunking noise. I don't want to do it because I have been doing this thing for like a whole day. <laughs> And I actually got my bed to level pretty nicely. I don't want to mess with it anymore because if I do that, it might ruin the print and I have to do the calibration like over and over again. Do that with this one. And if this side looks good, you can do it onto the left one too. So the left one is not in, it's not showing. So I'm just gonna move the bed. There, there we go. It is showing right now. So I can have access to it like this. And I can twist it this way or twist it this way. Depends on your bed mesh, how level this side is compared to this side. I haven't do that and actually work pretty well. I watched some videos and when they twist this, even with the printers off, you still hear the clunky noise. So I assuming it's probably the same thing. But do this at your own risk. Um, it might break your printer, it might not. I've been doing this for weeks now and it has been printing amazingly. No problems with the motors or anything. For some reason, the back lead screw does not have that so you can't really adjust it. You just need to adjust the two front screw so that it corresponds well to the back lead screw. As you can see here, if you watch, if you saw my previous video, you know I printed some spacer, put it right there, but I have taken them off because it wasn't working for me at all. It doesn't matter how much I stack, it still doesn't print that well. What I notice is that, if you look closely here, you see that there's a cutout, a circle cutout. You can move this build plate back and forth like this. On the other side, this cutout is going from left to right. On the right side, it's going back and forth. On the left side, it's going left and right. So, you can adjust that by taking off these two screws and then twisting this thing a little bit making that however adjust that however you want and let me tell you that small adjustment helps a ton so for me particularly this spot right here it cannot be printed well at all and i recently take this off i push my bed towards this way and push this um push this plastic piece together so meshing both of them together and the back over there is raised up so high and this part is way down it's almost two millimeters difference and so then I took these two screw off and then separated these two apart as you can see there's a gap behind here this thing is all the way towards the front it's not towards the back so I separated these two pushing the bed as far back as I can and pushing this as far back as I can and then I lock in the two screw and my bed mesh this thing has raised up the back has raised down and both of them are almost at level without doing much modification to it i don't have to print the spacer i don't have to take the printer apart that is really really good and that is how i made my k1 max bed level and it has print amazingly the first layer has print flawlessly i have not adjusted this side the only side I adjust is this, the lead screw, right, the right lead screw, the left lead screw by doing the tricks here, putting your allen wrench here and then twisting it so that it will skip a teeth. But for your safety, make sure you keep track of which way you turn. Make sure you keep track that you turn your left screw, your left lead screw to the right once. So if anything happens, you can always turn it back the other way so that it, so that it goes back to normal. And like I said, even though my bed mesh here is not the best looking, it prints nicely. All the lead screw are in sync. It goes, the bed moves down when it gets here, the bed moves up when it gets to this point. And it just prints amazingly just by adjusting those teeny tiny little thing. And let me tell you, it helps a ton, especially this small movement right here. It runs from a range of 2 to a range of 0.9. And I am amazed. Okay, that is pretty much it of what I have been doing with the K1 Max bed leveling. That is pretty much it how I level my K1 Max by doing those tricks. I hope you find this video helpful. 
Like I said, do it at your own risk. If you don't want to do this method, you can take off the bottom panel and then adjust it by hand. Or you can just do this method. It's quicker, it's easier, and it works like the same. That is it for this video. And as always, you know what? I'm, I'm going to change this. I'm going to start saying, keep on 3D printing.